Maddie and I are, are very different in some ways, and then we're very similar in other ways. I mean, Maddie comes from New York, I come from Orange County. Maddie comes from the project, I come from more or less a middle class background. I hail from the best borough in New York City, which is Brooklyn, New York. I was born and raised in Red Hook Housing Project. I grew up in the uh, early 80s in New York. It was like the, the birth of hip hop. Run DMC, the Beastie Boys, Adidas, Gazelle Glasses. That was my era. I absolutely love Orange County, California. I mean, it brings everything together for me. I spent my early years in Chicago. The entire family packed for California when I was a boy, and we made California our home. My high school and college years, I spent a lot of time partying on the famous Orange County beaches. I graduated from Cal State Long Beach, from the Beach Boys to disco, I love the 70s scene in Orange County, and I still love it here. Gary is a guy who is number one, I call him a big lover. People would see a guy who has a suit on and a tie that's very business oriented, who has that CEO, you know, swagger about him, that they, it would be kind of standoff, but it's the total opposite with him. Maddie is a wonderful human being, and he's able to connect at the heart level. Uh, with uh, people. I've seen it in his ministry, I've seen it with his friends, I've seen it with me. So he really generally cares about that person, so he's connecting almost the Oprah effect for men. This show really is a format where different points of views will come together. It's not about being divisive. The show is going to be like theater. I mean, on stage, we'll have a talk area, a demonstration area, and a presentation area. So we'll be using whatever's appropriate at that time to teach, learn, educate, entertain our audience. But we're also going to have segments. So we're, we'll go out anywhere in the world, potentially, to help tell the story of the topic that we're talking about. We can talk about male violence. Let's look at the prison system today. We have 25% of the world's prisoners. We only have 5% of the world's population. This is a real problem. Hey, this is Maddie Rich. Today, I am visiting with Father Gregory Boyle of Homeboy Industries. Homeboy Industries is doing some amazing things for young men and women who are coming out of prison and they need opportunities and jobs. All this is, is about mental health. You know, none of it is really crime issue. It's all community health issues. So this is America, where it's easier to get a gun than it is to access mental health services. There's power to understand what it is to be a man, to be a provider, to be a nurturer, to be a good listener, to not be physical, but to be a nurturer, a listener, and a lover. To me, that's, the, that's what real guys represent. You're limited with your association, what they call gang you know, association. They make it hard not to commit another crime. Yeah, yeah. Fa yeah. Well, Father Boyle made yeah. said something <laughs> powerful. He said, he goes, think about if you were judged your whole life yeah. on the worst thing you ever did in your yeah. life. I mean, if you think, I think about it's it, powerful. if each of us looked at, you know, what was the worst thing you ever did? And you were stigmatized your whole life for that. I mean, talk about education. I think a lot of students, when they're struggling, they feel like they're alone, mm -hmm. that they're the only one going through that. And so um, this class gives them an opportunity to realize that they're not alone, that it doesn't matter your socioeconomic status, your race, anything like that. We all have common uh, issues, and, and each one of us has an ability to grow and develop. Talk about you know, relationships, you know. Venus, Mars, what's going on there? You know, in terms of parenting, being a better father, being a better husband, uh, infidelity, uh, and then funner things like sports tribes. Why do, why are guys so into their sports teams? I mean, talk about fashion, grooming. Woody! Maddie, What's up, right? man? Good, Good to, to see you, man. You look fantastic. Man, thank you, man. I, what this is 25 pounds. Can you are kidding me? Yes, but you know what, Woody? What's up? None of my clothes fit. Oh, well, we come to the right place? So you know I had to come to my man who does all the men's yeah. custom clothes. OK. So you got to tell me how I can, you know, keep this Definitely. fit and yeah. get my sexy back. OK, well, let's do it. Let's look at some fabric. How do we become healthier so we can live longer and live more productively and happier? Exercise is so important to me. As a CEO of a company, it's so important that I stay healthy. Also, my wife and three kids, and I really want to be here for them as I get older. Okay, another way to help men is to teach them how to be entrepreneurs. As there were people helping me when I was a young guy, now it's my opportunity to do the same for others. And I'm hoping, and I feel blessed if it does happen, that you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now, there will be other Paul Folinos sitting in this chair talking about their mentors and people that help pave the way for them to do things to give back to our community. In this show, we're going to learn to fill that void, that man void, that thing that you may, you know, 
ache about. I have a question about your personal life. What kind of man would you like your two lovely daughters to be with when they get to that age? A guy like me. Hmm. Yeah. Like you. I think so. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I'm a good man. You are a good man. Let me say this to you. You continue to be who you are because you're a special man. And I truly believe, I knew this when I was a kid, that there's something really special, pure, honest. And you're absolutely right. If, you're, if your two daughters should marry somebody like you and there should be more men like you. And that's what this show, Real Guys, is truly about.